Hello viewers, I am Advocate Kier. Our production company has discussed in my previous video, I have talked about the concept of private international law. In this particular video, I will cover up sources of private international law. The domestic laws of the relevant nations regulate a large portion of private international law. This means that Indian law by may be used to determine, for instance, where a particular foreign ruling would be upheld in an Indian court, treaties and conventions, modern laws, legal handbooks and other instruments may also be utilized in the current NDA work to develop a more unified system of private international law. There is currently no well-defined body of private international law, although particular topics like contracts or family law may have their own set of controlling laws. Private international law is often subject specific and varies from country to country and jurisdiction to jurisdiction. International bodies and treaties, the main international organizations engaged in private international law are listed below. Each of the following has a website where they provide update on their conventions, preserve old papers and provide information about their current projects. Conference at the Hawk on Private International Law. The Hawk Conference on Private International Law HCCH is the international organization for, uh, for cross borders cooperation and commercial concerns and it has its roots in a conference called by the Dutch government in 1893. It created conventions rather than principles, recommendations and model laws. In several areas of private law including subjects like inter-country adoption and child abduction as well as more modern problems like jurisdictional and choice of law rules, the Hawk Conference is stated on private international law entered into force on 15 July 1955 outlines the organization and goals of the conference. I hope you are pretty much clear with the sources of private international law. If not, so then do let me know in the comment section regarding all your doubts and queries so that I can clear up all your doubts and queries about this particular video in my next uh, about this particular topic in my next video. I'll see you guys super soon in my next video with some other video topic. Till then take care of yourself.